One of the video tutorial requests we've had um, from a number of clients recently is how to create pop-ups. So these pop-up little pop-up windows where you can click on something and it pops up what's called a modal box. And it's basically like a pop-up box and you can have any information you want in it like a form or um, you know anything really, an image, whatever the case is. So this is a quick demo of how you would do that on your website. So one of our clients is Gecko Culinary Adventures and they have a team building page. It's quite a long scrolling team building page and one of the things we want to do here is add a call to action button which actually pops up with the form which is embedded at the bottom of the page as well for them to actually get a quote for their team building event. So how you would do this is you would go into your dashboard, you would go along to the page that you want to add the pop-up to so in this case it's a team building page and you would open that with page builder. Okay so once that's open uh, you need to find the first spot that you want your pop-up to appear. So let's say we want to add it um, under this area here. Under your power pack modules you're going to have a, a bunch of modules there to choose from. One of them is called modal box you're going to click and drag that to wherever you want it to appear. So in this case, let's create a new row under that um, area. You let go of your mouse and it's going to drop in your modal box settings. Okay, so there are a lot of settings with your modal box and you're really going to have to go through and play a little bit to get it to appear exactly how you want it to. Um, the first major difference is between a standard layout and a full screen layout. So full screen, as it describes, the, the pop-up goes to full screen, so it'll cover the whole screen as they, um, uh, are, as they click on it. And standard would give you a standard window size and you can specify the width here. So in this case, because it's quite a big form, I'm going to go full screen. This show preview allows you to actually preview what's happening in the background behind this window where we adjusting settings. So if you move it out the way, etc., you'll see what's happening. Okay, so let's get our form in here so we can actually see what it looks like. So this is where um, you're going to tell it what kind of content you want. You can enable a uh, title if you want to and put some sort of title here. Um, so for example, get a quote now. And then you can choose the content that you want in the actual um, pop-up. So the choices are photo, video, URL. This will point to a specific page, either on your website or another, another website. Uh, normal content, raw HTML, which I'm sure none of you will want to dabble with, or any saved templates. So I'm going to go with content in this case. Okay, so now we need to actually put some content in. So this is where we would actually add our form um, short code. So to get your form short code, you're going to go to your forms when it's gravity forms we're using, and you're going to check for your form ID over here. So in this case, it's the team building quotation, the form ID is two. And then there's a little snippet of a little line of a short, what's called a short code that you would need to add into the content in order to show that form. So we'll copy that in the information of the video, but basically it's it's a little short code and the thing that you need to change is your um, ID over here, is ID number two, which is your form ID. And when you click save, it's actually going to insert the form uh, into that actual modal box. So once you've clicked on save and you've come back into your settings, you will see that the form is actually loaded in that uh, pop-up box below. Okay, so we have our basic information there. We have our pop-up box in. Uh, we wanted to say, uh, get a quote now is the heading we wanted in there. And now we can head over to the next tab, which is the settings tab. Okay, so the trigger is important. This is how do you want the pop-up to appear. So you can actually set this to automatically appear after a certain number of seconds on the page. So that's quite nice for a newsletter subscribe. You can set it to be on click, in which case it'll create a button and then suddenly you'll see there's some button information here and a button tab over there. 
and in the background you will see that it's updated and you can actually see there's the button and there's the form. Uh, there is exit intent. What that means is when somebody tries to leave your page, um, it's going to prompt it to come up. And then there's another setting where you can use a code and you can put that on anything on your site. Um, we'll do a, a more advanced tutorial with that if anyone needs to know how to do it. For the purposes of this, most of you will probably have it either on auto or on click, so we're going to show on click. Okay, on click, is it a button, is it an image, or is it an icon? You can choose. In this case, I think we're going to make it a button. The button text is going to say, get a quote. Now, um, let's get an icon for it. So obviously you've got access to all your font icon, uh, font awesome icons. You can search for keywords and find it in that way. So in this case, let's look for a, a document. You can see you could get something that looks like a quote or a pencil or a pen, uh, something that looks like that. So let's use something like that. Okay, so we've chosen our icon and in the background you'll see it updates and you can see that's so far what our button looks like. You can choose where you want the icon to be. And then you've also got some exit settings. So you want to be able to tell, well, allow these people to exit this pop-up in a number of ways. One is to click on a button. Another is to um, is press escape. So both of those we're going to leave to yes. We want people to be able to get out of here as easily as possible. Okay, so moving on to our next tab, which is our button style. We're going to uh, format our button to match the rest of our site. You'll see that on your site you've got your colors all preloaded for your typical button colors. Let's make this a red one so it stands out nicely as a very clear call to action. Okay, so that's going to change the background of your button. We don't want a border. This website doesn't use borders. And we don't want rounded corners in this case so that it can match the rest of our site. Okay, there's also things like padding around the, the buttons if you want it to be a full width button. So that might be quite nice to have a nice big full width call to action button. So we could say make it full width and we could center it, for example, in the layout. So that's really to do with your button, which is what triggers your modal box. So that's all your button settings. We're now going to go to the next tab, which is your modal style. Okay, so your modal style is what the background of this window looks like. So the first thing is the background. Do we want it to be a color or an image? So you could get really fancy here and you could, for example, set a background image if we were to select a photo from the library, the media gallery. Um, let's say, for example, we selected this uh, that is actually a little bit small, so let's just say we selected this photo here. Right, so when we've selected that photo, it's actually going to change that in the background. Let's just give it a few seconds to update. And it's taking its time. I'm going to save so we can see this. It looks like it might not be updating on the actual um, window. So a nice little trick here as well. If you click on this little button here with the R, when it's got a cross out, your, your site then behaves as a normal user would see it without actually opening the editing. So if we click on it, you'll see that it's actually, it has got that image in there. It just wasn't showing us in the back, in the, um, um, you know, in the settings as it were. So you can see you can get quite fancy with backgrounds and your pop-ups, et cetera, et cetera. I think for the purposes of this site, we're going to keep it quite simple and use the normal colors um, that they have in their site. So all you do to get back into your editing settings is you click on the little R and then you click on your modal settings again. So sometimes you have to just save it and come back in. As you can see, it's now showing the background image in the preview where it wasn't before. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to modal styles where we were. 
and I'm actually going to uh, see if these settings will refresh for you. So there you go. Now you can see how these settings refresh. So if we made it uh, cover rather than contain, contain means the whole image will be contained within the modal box. So you'll see it doesn't actually cover the whole area. But if you change it to cover, it will actually resize the image and make sure the whole thing is covered. But to keep it nice and simple, I'm not going to use image here. I'm going to just go with a background color. And I'm going to se select the color that is one of the colors of this website. And let's see what that looks like with it, which is this nice warm brown. So there you go. That's, that's what the background color looks like. And I think that matches the rest of the site, so we'll probably stay with something like that. Okay, so there's your form in your, in your pop-up. Um, I'm going to go back to the general settings because I actually don't like it as a standard size pop-up. I would prefer it as a full screen just because this form is quite, there are a lot of fields and some of the fields have more than one on a line. So it would be better to do as a full screen pop-up like this for people to use. Okay, so we were in our modal styles. Um, we were down to our background. You can also set the title. So you can set the title background color. So for example, and I'm going to put it back to standard just so you can see this on the video. Otherwise we might, <coughs> excuse me, lose it at the top. But on standard, we can at least see that. So you'll see at the moment the heading or the title area, that's the color of the font and it has a white background. So to match the rest of the site, let's, for example, choose the um, red from the site as a background, and then let's change the text color to a white. So it stands out a little bit nicer. You can also increase your font size here to make the heading a little bit more um, exciting. And I don't like a border at the bottom for this design, so I'm going to set that to zero to get rid of the line in between the red and the, um, the warmer color. And you can also do stuff like uh, you can create really interesting looks with the border, actually. So if you went with quite a wide border, like let's make it 10, for example, and then you chose your border color as, let's say, one of the other site colors you're using, and you could then use things like uh, changing your border style to dashed, for example, or dotted. And you can see that that can also create quite an interesting effect depending on what you're using. Um, you could even set it to the same as the, um, the background. And then that gives an effect almost like it's, uh, you know, cutting into the area because the color is the same. So you can really, um, you, can, you can play around with this quite quite uh, to your heart's content as it were. I'm going to also center my heading so I think that looks a lot nicer um, so you can get an idea of how you can edit that um, that heading area. So that heading area has been edited now. Uh, you can also put a box around your content uh, and around you can have overlays. So all of these you can see there are a hell of a lot of options that you can play with. You can also um, change the formatting of your button, your close button. So for example, at the moment it's gray. I'm going to change that to white so that it stands out against the red a little bit more. You can also give it a background color. Um, you can make it a round uh, button, for example, if you give it a background color and then you use this border radius to make it round. Um, you can make it as thick as you want so it stands out more. Um, you can make it as big as you want. So I think in this case, let's make it bigger so it's nice and easier for people to see how they get out of the um, modal box. Okay, so you can see a lot of styling options. You can play to your heart's content. I think I'm fairly happy with this now. I'm going to go and put that back to full screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and publish this page, and then we're going to see on the front end how it works. So we placed our full width button over here. So there it is to get a quote. You click on it, it pops it up in a new modal window. This is where you would complete your form, and when you were done, you could close your modal window and it goes away. 
So there's a quick tutorial on creating a modal pop-up.